Hi, I'm Linda. This is a series of videos to go through the Ashtanga primary series, step by step, making the practice accessible for all levels of practitioners. So we're going to begin with the Surya Namaskara A, or Sun Salutation A, breaking it down so that you can follow the practice no matter what level you're at. Okay, so we're going to start with standing. You come to the front of your yoga mat and you're going to bring your big toes together. The heels can stay slightly apart. You're going to lift all your toes from the floor and see if you can stretch your big toes down and forward. Stretch your little toes out and down and then spread all the toes in between. You're going to lean floor forward just slightly so you feel the skin of the heels coming off the floor and then sit back on the heels evenly. See if you can lift your hip bones, lower the low ribs and bring this area around the navel in and making it firm. All the while relaxing the buttocks, elongating the spine especially at the lower back and then lengthening the spine through the crown of the head. Close your eyes. Just bring your awareness to your breath. If it's comfortable for you, you can place the hands in front of the chest in this prayer position. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing your facial muscles. just bringing yourself inwards, calming your breath. You're going to start to bring your awareness more to the sound of your breath, trying to make a soft sound with the inhales and the exhales, bringing the air in through the nose, out through the nose. In Ashtanga, we never breathe through our mouth. Trying to make the inhales and the exhales the same length and the same sound. So just collecting yourself inwards, listening to your breath. When you're ready, exhaling the arms to the sides, opening the eyes, turning your palms outward. With your inhalation, you're going to lift your arms straight up. With an exhalation, you're going to bend your knees, lean forward, and just let the hands come down somewhere to the floor. Relax your head, relax the neck. The next inhalation, you're going to slide your hands up your shin bones. Press a little bit into the shins, but press the shins into the hands to elongate the spine, open the chest. Long back, long neck. Okay. With the next exhale, place the hands on the floor in front of you. Bring some weight into the hands, squeeze the floor with the fingers, and then step one foot back and the other foot back, keeping the feet hip width apart. This is called a plank position. You can look down your body, see that your body looks completely straight, and then bring the neck level with the rest of the spine, pressing the heels away, reaching the crown in the opposite direction. So you should feel the belly pulling in firmly. Then you're going to start to lean forward. As you lean forward, the knees are coming down to the floor, the pelvis, and the chest. You're going to change the feet. Press all 10 toes firmly into the floor. So you're going to feel the knees lifting off the floor. Eggs are, legs are completely activated. Roll open your shoulders. Press the pubic bone to the floor. And just keep the chest open for a moment. Then you're going to turn the toes. Pressing into your hands, keeping the knees on the floor. We're going to come into this position called puppy pose. 
to learn how to press our hands into the floor, activate our arms so that in a couple of sun salutations, we'll be able to balance a little bit more on the hands. Bring the ears between the upper arms, reach your sitting bones away, making space between each and every vertebrae. And then just stay here, breathing deeply. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. You're gonna lift your buttocks, lift the knees, and step one foot forward and the other foot forward. Hands on the shin bones, long back, long neck, belly in. Exhale, releasing over your legs. You're gonna lead with the chest, pressing into the feet, raising the arms up, coming all the way back up. Exhale, arms to the sides. This is called samastidhi. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more to that. Open the hands, inhale, raise the arms, keeping the belly pulled in. Exhale, folding over the legs, you can bend the knees, hands down, relax the neck. Inhale, lift the chest. If it's okay, just bring the fingertips to the floor. Belly is pulled in. Okay. Exhale, put the hands on the floor in front of you. Bend the knees and step one foot back, other foot back. Coming into that plank position, trying to make a nice straight line with your body, leaning forward, putting the knees down. This time you're gonna see if you can just come halfway down with the shoulders. And then turn the toes, straighten the legs, open the chest. Turn the toes, coming into that puppy position. And if you feel comfortable here, maybe you're gonna pick up the knees from the floor, keep making space between the vertebrae, and if needed, you keep the knees bent. Okay, it doesn't mean anything if your knees are bent or the knees are straight. Pressing the fingertips firm into the floor, reaching the sitting bones in the opposite direction. Breathing deeply. About three breaths, four, and five. You're gonna step yourself back to the front. Inhale, straight legs, belly in, long back. Exhale, releasing over the legs. Inhale, lead with the chest, opening the arms as you rise up. Exhale, arms to the sides. So if that's feeling good, then you can add a few more things. You can open your arms and you're gonna gaze up to the thumbs this time. So open the hands, inhale, lifting the arms, gaze to your thumbs, place the hands together. Exhale, diving over the legs. As you do so, the belly comes in. Releasing over the legs. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, come high onto your fingertips or come to the beginning, hands on the shins. Use your wisdom to know what's good for your body. Place the hands into the floor. And we're gonna try to jump back. So to jump back, you need to bring your weight into your hands. So it might feel scary for the first time. Press your hands into the floor, bring your weight forward, keep the weight forward, and lightly hop back into that plank position. Find a nice straight line. Once again, you're gonna place the knees to the floor, lean forward. This is a version of Chaturanga. Come halfway down, turn the toes, press the toes. See if you can lift your knees off the floor. Open the chest. This is called Upward Facing Dog. Looking toward your nose. 
And then turning on the toes, pressing into the hands, leading with the hips, rolling over the feet. And if it's okay, straightening the legs, downward facing dog. Finding a point to gaze at, steadying your gaze, and listening to your breath. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend the knees, look forward. If you want to try jumping forward, lean forward, press into your hands, keep that pressure into the hands, and then you're going to squat back, bending the knees, but don't lose the pressure into the hands, and you use your toes. You're going to spring forward. So you up, spring forward, inhale when you arrive, straightening the back, lengthening the back of the neck. Exhale, you can fold into your legs. Inhale, opening the chest, belly in, coming all the way back up, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, samastidihi. Moving a little bit smoother with the breath. Inhale, raising the arms. Exhale, folding over the legs. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, pressing the hands, step or hop back. Plank pose all the way down to a chaturanga. If you can, you keep your knees off the floor. Roll over the toes, upward facing dog. Open the chest, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Finding your gazing point. Trying not to look around. Listening to your breath. Checking the quality of your breath. It should be smooth. It should be even. That's about three breaths. And then bending the knees, gazing forward and seeing if you're going to spring yourself forward. Inhale, long back. Exhaling, head down. Inhale, press the feet, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, samastidihi. We're going to go into Surya Namaskar B. So it's almost the same. We just add a couple of extra positions. So the first one is called Utkatasana. You're going to lift your toes from the floor, bend your knees so you can see the tips of your toes, bring your hands over the knees and slide the skin up. Feel like the lower abdominals are pulling firmly in. You're going to interlace your fingers behind the head, bring the elbows shoulder width apart and then reach your elbows up to the sky. Keep the chest open and then straighten the arms, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, fold over the legs, relaxing the back of the neck. Inhale, lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press the hands and either stepping or lightly hopping back. Leaning forward, coming into that chaturanga and you can put the knees down or keep them up. Inhale, turn on the toes. Open the chest, upward facing dog. Exhale, turn over the toes, downward facing dog. You're going to come high on the toes, bring your right knee close to the chest, lean forward and try to put your toes in line with your front thumb. Turn the back foot on the floor at an angle, bend your front knee so that it's over the heel, bring your arms alongside your body, Inhale, come up, and you're going to verify that that right hip, knee, and foot are in the same line. Wrapping the outer back thigh forward, pulling in the core of the body. Bring your arms straight in front of you. Elbows always need to stay straight. Look up, raise the arms, place the hands together. 
exhale coming all the way back down to the floor leaning into the hands step back lower chaturanga inhale upward dog pulling in the lower belly exhale downward facing dog lifting the heels from the floor lean forward pull your knee in close to the chest place your foot near the thumb turn the back foot on the floor at an angle front knee directly over your heel bring your arms alongside the body inhale come up verify the alignment knee hip second toe belly in arms straight keep them straight start to gaze up and bring the hands together exhale coming all the way back down to the floor as you lean into the hands stepping back working through chaturanga upward dog and downward facing dog here we stay for five inhales five exhales one two three four five bend the knees and either stepping or springing yourself forward inhale when you arrive exhale over your legs inhale bend the knees raise the arms into utkatasana exhale samastidihi okay we're going to do two more moving a little smoothly we're going to bend the knees inhale raise the arms exhale over your legs relax the neck inhale long back exhale jump back lower down chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog so if you want to try you can turn your left heel at an angle first and then bring your right foot to the right thumb bend that front knee over the heel inhale open the arms come all the way up gaze to the thumbs exhale start to come down place your hands lean into the hands step back strengthening your arms going down chaturanga inhale open the chest upward dog exhale over the toes downward dog turn your right heel in at an angle bring your left foot to the left thumb bend that front knee inhale as you come all the way up gaze to your thumbs exhale lean into the hands step back lower down inhale upward facing exhale downward facing keep pressure into your fingertips protecting your wrists one two three four five bend the knees and press the hands and coming forward inhale lengthening exhale releasing inhale bending the knees exhale samastidihi last one inhaling utkatasana exhaling folding forward inhaling long spine exhaling chaturanga inhaling upward dog exhaling downward dog turn your left foot step your right foot inhaling virabhadrasana 
exhaling chaturanga inhaling opening the chest exhaling over the toes turn your right foot step the left inhaling warrior exhaling chaturanga inhaling upward dog exhaling downward facing dog five long inhales long exhales it's about two three five bend the knees and hop forward inhale long back exhale head down inhale utkatasana exhale samastidhi okay so that's the sun salutations if you do just that for the rest of your life this is perfect. You don't even need any more. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, you could, after the sun salutations, you could add in the next video, which is the breakdown of the standing sequence of Ashtanga Yoga. Or you could also just skip that and go right to the very end and do some of the finishing positions to calm yourself down, lie down in Shavasana, and completely relax to get on with the rest of your day. So, hope to see you again. Thank you. Namaste.